Right, guys, good morning. It's Mother's Day. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there that watch this. Um, today's also my, my dad's birthday. And it's fucking crazy. Um, you know, I didn't really have any concept of the date going to bed last night or waking up this morning. Um, I didn't realize it was May 13th. Um, I just, I never keep track of, of the date on the weekends. Um, so I had the most vivid dream about my dad last night and it was nuts i mean we just it was nothing crazy like we just did things that we both enjoyed doing like we cooked a steak and we built laid some bricks around like a house like it was building an addition or something i don't know it was just nuts and just so clear and a lot of times I can't remember anything from my dreams. You know, I just remember they were strange, but I remember every detail. Um, it's just crazy to, you know, think like either that's the nuttiest coincidence ever that I happen to have a dream. Maybe subconsciously I knew the date, but honestly, I hadn't looked at the date all weekend. And maybe my brain did that or maybe it was a message from him or maybe he just wanted to spend some time I don't know but I woke up in tears really um no denying that you know just such a flood of emotions it was fucking crazy um so I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna get up now um Go hang with my mom for a little bit. Go wish her happy Mother's Day. Tuck just called me. He found a little Suzuki um RM one hundred dirt or RM eighty dirt bike for a hundred bucks. It needs a new top end. Nothing that we can't do. Um so I'm gonna go with him to get it. We will buy the parts on eBay and build Tuck a bike so that we can all ride. So that's exciting. Um so I'm going to get up now, and I will see you guys later. We just, well, this was all Jeremy Bags' blessing. It's Mother's Day, so <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Um, we're about to head out and pick up this bike off Offer Up. Uh, 100 bucks for a little 80 Dreamer. Um, not really sure anything about dirt bikes, to be honest. I just know that I want to get get one and start riding it, so... The, the claim is we're going to try and scoop this thing up. It's missing some parts. Uh, he's willing to do it for 100 bucks. It's a good company, Suzuki. And whatever else we need to buy, we're going to just buy online. And hopefully, I don't know anything about it, but hopefully with the help of Jimmy Bags, we can get this thing on the road. And not really on the road, but really just up and running in the next like month or so. And, you know, go from there. This could be the start of something bigger. I was thinking, buy this, fix it, get it going, have it, and then maybe even buy something bigger, and then Sammy can just ride this little dream. Yeah. Because that's kind of what I was thinking in my head. That's a good call. But I really never personally owned a dirt bike in my life, but literally everyone I grew up with, my dad had them his whole life. Like, you know, I'm from Pennsylvania, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Every single kid I knew had, like, 10, so... Mm -hmm. Pretty much my mom was just not into it because my dad tried to buy his dirt bikes like 10 times and she just freaked the fuck out and you know how that goes. So. Your claim, Sam. What's your take on all this? I don't even know. This is pretty much her bike in the end. For real. Yeah, well, probably not oh, gonna ride it ever. Nice. So, scared? Try and get out of For scared, say so you're scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> my face. Did research on the bike earlier, just looking up parts, and it's only gonna cost like eighty bucks in parts, I believe. Um, we'll see when we get there. But. I mean, your whole like YouTube channel could just be about fixing dirt bikes. Yeah, it could be. That's kind of like your niche. I'm think I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Buying them, fixing them, selling them, riding you know, like, them. The Fuck deal. it. I like it. Hey, it's fun. We just flew out to the dream about to get this bike for the All right, we're on Nightingale Avenue, and we just passed Sand Pepper Road. 
Sandpaper. <laughs> Sandpaper. Hopefully this guy doesn't just try and kill us and take our hundred bucks. Is he coming out? This guy's named Jesus, so I was worried he might be going to church. Jesus. <laughs> Where is Jesus? I got this little dream for a tuck. And we're about to redo it for the boys. And Sam's going to be riding it one day. It's a clean, at least. Yeah. Uh -huh. See you, man. Thank you. Fucking dreamer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> right? Such a score for a hundred bucks, bro. I'm jealous, honestly. We gotta get a shop manual this for it, though. Be sick, though, dude. <laughs> What'd you say? This is gonna be shit. All right, guys. So today started off awesome, and then turned into a fucking nightmare. All right, so we went, we picked up Tuck's bike, we saw what we needed. Um, everything was good with that. No big deal. Um, so I took out the XR, felt like riding it. Um, the back tire, as you guys saw in my last video, just was not holding air, um, at all. I mean, as soon as you put it in, it ran right back out. So I knew that I had pinched the tire at least once, maybe more than once, putting it on the rim. Um, took one side of the tire off, pulled the tube out, it got pinched like six fucking times. So, I tried to patch it with Flex Seal. Um, didn't really work. Shit, I almost knocked the curtain down. Didn't really fucking work. Um, was really fucking making me angry. Not gonna lie. Um, so I took the old tube. Was still good, um, from the back tire from before. And I used that. Um, was putting it on, got most of the way done, pinched the tube again. Took it off, I used, actually, and I'm going to show you guys this, um, I'll probably make a video like tomorrow or something because I'm done fucking with it for today, but with the with the old front tire, I'll show you the old front tube I, I kept. Um, I actually used electrical tape, I heated it up with a lighter when it was on there, and then I took super glue and just coated the whole fucking thing and it made a perfect patch. It's holding there great. Um, I ripped it up and down the block hard, hit bumps hard, making sure that it was going to be able to take the abuse, and it did. So that was pretty cool. Um, adapt and overcome. So I'm putting it back on. I pinched the tube again, right next to where I just patched. Same deal. Electrical tape, heat, super glue, patch held again. So put it on. Was putting the tire back on, boom, one of my tire spoons snaps. I'm pissed. Other one, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. This one bends. I bend it back, bends. Bend it back, bends. It just is not strong enough anymore to put any kind of leverage on it. Use my other tire spoon. Working it, working it, boom. And then it fucking bends. Bend it back, bends again. Bend it back, bends again. Bends it back, bends again. So I'm like, fuck, dude. All my tire spoons are shot. Um... How am I going to get the rest of this tire on? But at that point, I only had like this much tire. But when it's like that, it's so tight that it takes some leverage. So I refused to give up. I refused to wait for more tire spoons um, to order them. So I took a fucking big old flat bar and just wrist puncture the tire. And it, actually, I wish I would have just used the flat bar the whole time. Way easier to get leverage on it. It was never going to bend. You know what I mean? The rim will bend before that fucking flat bar will. Um, and I muscled it over like nothing. So I was kind of pissed that I even waited and spent money on those tire spoons because I didn't need them. I could have done it with flat bars the whole time. Um, but now I know. Um, I also now know how to patch an inner tube with shit I found around the house. So, um, it sucked, but I got it done. Um, I put the tire back on. Um, I ran the shit out of the bike. I took it back to that little trail and I, I gunned it in like fourth gear hit every bump hard on um, all the air held so it's done thank the fucking lord um hopefully the patches hold if not then um either gonna get in i'm gonna get new tubes and just take it to the fucking gas station and have them do it or i'm just gonna use the flat bar like i said the flat bar i used 
the the hook end and I used the flat end and um, neither one of them had enough bite when you got it in there to grab the tube. It was just enough to grab the rim without affecting the tube. Um, whereas the the spoons kind of got in and were perfect to pinch the tube. Um, so I don't even know why I fucking ordered them. They were stupid. Um, the flat bars worked way better for me personally. Um, so that's good to know for the future. Um, Hopefully they hold until those fucking tires are shot. That would be the best possible outcome. Um, I think they will. Um, I actually used just electrical tape on the front tire before when I patched them. Um, and it's been holding. I wish I would have thought of the glue, um, super glue trick. Like just coating the whole thing in the sides and super glue and really giving it that tight seal but the good thing about electrical tape as anybody who's ever really used it knows once that shit gets hot it just gets so tacky that it's just it is what you know it's just fucking turns into like slime like um the adhesive just gets so tacky it don't come off shit it's like pulling teeth trying to get it off so i'm hoping that since they are tires and tires obviously heat up when you're using them um and not to mention it's sitting in my shed that gets like 100 fucking degrees on a fucking daily basis, um, it'll just make them nice and tacky, and it, well, I'll never have to worry about it. Um, worse comes to worse, I'll just have to do the same patch technique I did. But it's cool when, you know, you're in a tight jam, and the last thing you feel like doing, especially on, you know, a Sunday that's also Mother's Day, where nothing's open to just be like, how can I make this work? And we made it work, folks. It works real good. So, um, this is a little secret. Um, that I didn't even know actually I just figured it out but it's one hell of a way to patch an inner tube in a tight jam um, so now you guys know for future reference but anyway I'm about to enjoy the shower as you can see my hands are black and filthy um, I'm not honestly exhausted um, I had to take off and put that tire on almost all the way on like take it off three t two times three times First time, second time, third, three times, and then put it on once, all the way on. And um, anybody that's ever done a tire by hand is, you know, will tell you it's no easy task. It's a real pain in the fucking balls. So um, I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the night. I don't really know what else to do. Um, there ain't really much else to do. Uh, Tuck needs to get some parts for that little RM80. Um, so that we can get that thing running so that I have someone to ride with. Um, I'm not going to lie. If Tuck didn't take that shit, I would have been a heartbeat. That thing's sweet. I, I, I wanted two-stroke. Um, I was on offer up. I seen some guys selling a roller chassis for 200 I offered them 100 Never heard anything from them. Um, it's a KX80. Just, just about everything's there except for the engine transmission. The engine and transmission. Um, which is obviously the most needed fucking part to get the thing going but I saw cases online um like bottom ends for like I don't know I think it was like it wasn't a lot it wasn't a lot at all um I seen fully like complete ones for like 165 bucks but I seen just the bottom casing um for like 65 bucks I think but even if I got it for a hundred if I spent three something on on an engine it really still wouldn't be bad still be less than i spent on the xr um but i don't see that i could probably get a full kx80 engine for like 200 bucks ready to just slap in 250 bucks ready to just slap in um so that'd be cool to be able to come up on another bike for 350 um have something for nestor to ride um i was gonna go buy this little chinese um Is it Zhang Shen? Shen Zhang? Zhang Shen? I don't know. Some, some Asian. Some Chinese bike. Um, I heard nothing but bad things, though. Um, I was going to get it for 200 bucks, and, and pro I probably could have got running in, like, a day or two. Um, but I heard they're notorious for blowing up in, like, three months, and fuck it. I don't feel like rebuilding this thing every three months. I'd rather just get a good old reliable Japanese bike and not have to fucking worry about it ever. Um, like the XR, you know? The fucking thing starts in one kick. So... Yep, that's the, that's the situation today, folks. So, 
I'm dead. Like I said, I'm, I'm like getting handprints all over my shower, my white shower fucking thing thing enclosure because um, my hands are so filthy. So I'm going to um, end this, but I will see you guys right, later. Guys, so I decided that I was just going to at least show you what those piece of shit spoons. Um, I don't know if they're just because they were cheap or what, but you remember what they looked like. In the last video, if not, you could always go back because I can't show you anymore. Here's one. Fucking junk. And then these guys are fucking completely bent over. They're in L's. They don't look like spoons anymore. Look, even the, the spoon itself part is flat on this one. And this one <clears throat> is bent and crooked. So, that's how, that goes to show you how tough fucking rubber is. Bent this metal, I don't even know what it is. I guess it's forged metal like nothing. Fucking snapped one side. Um, the tire's actually holding there though, so thank the fucking lord. Um, here is the tube I tried to patch with the white, um, what's it called? Flex seal. It actually worked for the ones that I put tape over. The one that I didn't, it did not work for. And I just, I feel like after enough friction, that's just going to go to shit. You know what I mean? So now that I got, I'm out here and shit anyway. Um, even though I really don't want to get any more super glue on my fingers because I couldn't even get it all off. Um, I'm going to show you how I patch these tubes. Let me see. I got to find. I got to find the hole on this one. Okay. There's a hole. Right there. Uh, let me see if that's the, that might be the only one. If that's the only one. I might be able to reuse this tube one day if I ever need to. Best way to find out is. And you can also, you can also put water on this, especially soapy water, and wherever you see the bubbles, boom, there you go, you know where your, um, where your hole is. Oh, hold on. I'm a jerk off. I forgot one of the bolts on the inside. Eh, whatever. If it works, it works. I realized I forgot a, the inside one on the inside of the tube on that other tube um so yeah that's probably gonna end up being an issue in the future but whatever I'm over it at this point if it lasts it lasts if it doesn't it doesn't I'm ready I'm this close to just getting new wheels all together This thing would never stay inflated when it was on the bike. Now you're gonna tell me that whatever was wrong with it is no longer. I feel like it's this one. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not all the way through. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, you guys saw a thousand times how I had to put air in my front tube every time I took the bike out before. That's annoying. That doesn't make any sense.
Okay. Okay, so... I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Let's try this one. Okay, so this is the only hole. It's enough of a slow leak. See that? Alright, so we found our leak. Spit, water, whatever. It all works. Ooh. Alright, so we found our leak. Now I'm going to show you how I fix it. Let's see if I can angle this down somehow. Or, huh, there we go, perfect. Regular old super glue and electrical tape. Fuck, did I bring my lighter inside? That's cool. You always have a lighter on deck. I like to get this a little bit warm. Get out the adhesive a little bit. You don't have to do this, I just do it. Honestly, you shouldn't even use this as a patch, but if you're like me and you do what the fuck you want, then it'll work. See, if you see sides kind of bucking up like that, just a little bit of heat. Get that adhesive tacky again. The old burning smell is actually pretty good. I'm sure you can see like a border around your tape of super glue. There you go, guys. That's how you patch an inner tube with super glue and electrical tape. I just discovered this today and it works amazing. Look, nothing. No air, you can see no bubbles, no nothing. So we're good to go. So I'm gonna um, turn this off now before my phone dies and I'll see you guys back. Guys, so that's gonna be it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Um, fuck those patch kits at bike shops and all that shit that they wanna charge you fucking money for and shit. You could just, um, Use super glue and electrical tape and works just the fucking same. It ain't gonna work for a car tire, but it'll work for a bike or dirt bike tire, as you can see. Um, and that's exactly how I patched the ones, and then I took them for a ride, and they were fine. So, sometimes you get lucky. Um, adapt and overcome. Um, everything was closed today. I knew damn well I was gonna be able to find no patch kits. And I didn't really feel like spending money on patch kits, especially when I had electrical tape and super glue, so... I tried the flex seal, didn't do what I needed to. So I was like, you know what? I did it with electrical tape before. Why don't I try electrical tape and super glue? And sure enough, boom, perfect patch. So I was this close, guys, to giving up. I mean, I had like barely any tire left. Um, my spoons were shot, and I was like, I got to get this thing fucking done, dude. Um, I'm pissed that I ever even used the spoons. They were a waste of 15 bucks. Um 
they bent like shit. They snapped like shit. Um, they pinched the tube fucking a hundred times when the whole time I had two flat bars in there that I could have used and would have made my life a thousand times easier. They didn't have, you couldn't get enough of an angle to pinch the tube with them, which made them a thousand times better. Um, but at least now I know, God forbid I ever have to do it again. And you can get so much leverage, you don't have to worry about them bending like those cheap pieces of shit did. Um, so that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm about to edit all this and slap it together for you guys. Um, yep, so that's it guys. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, I'll try to keep doing, you know, every day. Um, I try when I can, but sometimes it's just before I know it, the day's over, and I realize I haven't really filmed or did much. Um, last week, my mom was in Florida, and I was kind of holding down the fort, you know, taking care of all the pups and cleaning, keeping the house clean and just on top of work and everything else so it was just hard for me to um I didn't even go r ride the bike once last week because I just had so much fucking going on um it was almost overwhelming um that tire almost was just uh, I don't want to say it was overwhelming because it wasn't but it was just almost beat me guys um I was almost ready to accept defeat but fuck that we got to keep it pushing. Um, I wasn't going to leave that tire off. I wasn't going to have it incomplete. I worked so hard. It was just, fuck this ass to get done. Um, and in the process, I learned something new that I should have realized before with the patches and the, and the flat bars. But that's the whole point of this shit, you know? You learn and then you know for next time. Um... If I ever have to do a fucking tire again, I'll blow my brains out. That shit was brutal. I think the next time I'm just going to take them to the gas station and have them mounted with the machine. It's just so much less of a hassle. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm calling it a day. I'm tired. I'm going to chill and watch Netflix and just relax. Um, my girl, Me and my girl were going to go to the movies. I was going to, you know, introduce you guys to her, but... um. She got to do her mom thing on Mother's Day. So, I uh, definitely could get that. Um, so, soon. Soon. I just, every time I'm with her, I forget to even videotape. Like, me, Tuck, and her and Sam went and did that haunted mini golf at the Ocean City Boardwalk with, like, the black lights. And there's, like, monsters, things in there. And a bunch of spooky decorations. And it's really cool. Uh, but it it would have been hard to film in there because it was so dark and everything. But maybe next time. Um. Anyway, have a great night, weekend, whatever. Um. And I will see you soon.